<laughs> yes. Or said to put a poll. Uh, that was brick wall. Thank you. Uh, there's a poll that's up. It's gonna be up for ten minutes. But who do you think will miss out on the playoffs? Ooh. Ron, Ronas Bears, Hepcast, Lever. I got the four teams right, right? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> did you do a new at everyone, Danny B? I did. Nice. Uh, I did it at everyone. I, I am live. I You guys were muted because I forgot to change my audio, but you're, you're not anymore. We, we are live on the air. <laughs> uh, I've, there's a couple of co-host tags that you forgot on your little, little bumper thing. Oh, j just, j just a few, guy. just a few. Yeah, just a couple. Go ahead, DM me your, your co-host tags. I'll get them added. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> dunking on them like that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help myself. Damn, he makes the user Hall of Fame and still gets dunked on. <laughs> Isn't that what he That's made the user Hall of Fame for? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of. <laughs> But jokes on you, I have one. Let's go. Put it on there. Wait, you sent him one? Can I see it? No. You, I mean, yeah. Everyone's gonna see it in a second yeah. here. On, I don't know if I can do a GIF. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you said to send it to you. I did. I'm gonna see what happens if I just paste this in here. As everyone knows, I'm just a follower of rules, so. All right, that didn't work. I'm just gonna take a snip and then paste the snip in. I'll paste your snip in there. Hell yeah. Oh. Miss out the playoffs, God. I can't. I can't speak. I. I meant to put who will miss the playoffs. The word out should not be there. Yeah. Wow, shortest stream ever. We only have three games and we're, we're three minutes in. This is going to be the shortest stream night ever. Imagine doing PTs. Yikes. Yikes. There you go. It's Great. in there for you, Beaver. Thank you. I, even, I got a gift up and Look everything. That. Perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Streamer of the year. Why is that not an award? Honestly? It's, it should be. It should be. Danny for streamer of the year because he put that in there. I'm here for it. Is that is that all it takes? Just do one nice thing for Beaver and you're in? <laughs> Literally, just like, suck up to me and you got my vote. Okay. I'm not complicated. People dropping channel points on a poll. Love it. Hummus, apologize right now. <laughs> what? Apologize I already did. Jabs. I already apologize did. Apologize again. I wasn't listening when you did. <laughs> oh, well, Jabs, I'm sorry. I, I made a comment earlier tonight that made its way on the airwaves. Uh, I... I think of myself and pride myself as a man of faith, as there's a deep drive in the left field by legalized tampering. <laughs> no, giving up well, by legalized the, uh... tampering. <laughs> no, let legalized mash. Hashtag. <laughs> let, let legalized mash. Let's go. I was the uh, the idiot who tried to get on while the stream was still going on my phone. So <laughs> now, it's, that uh, was, it's all that good. Was Apology accepted. That was delightful. <laughs> that like this is the chaos. Do I have so this that one? That was very fitting. Yeah. Uh, the fact that we're going to get people to watch this is pretty epic. I mean, I, I'm going to tell Joe, hey, we should do double media, but only if you talk about the game 110 stream. Exactly. And you, you can watch it back. I'll make sure it gets on YouTube. So, Look at that. Both, Got the both Jabs streams. up there. Hey, he's here? Jabs is here? I... What do you mean he's here. He's been talking. <laughs> Oh, I muted. Oh, I muted oh him my on my God. own. Wow! I apologize again. I, mu I muted him on my own screen because of the echo. Oh my God! <laughs> apologize I, again. I just Hi, Jabs. Uh, hello, hello. I just want to pop in real quick and uh, say no hard feelings. Um, Danny, I, I appreciate you stepping up. I hope you have fun with this. This is gonna be a really fun night. Hey, that's the plan. Um, and uh, I just want to let you know that while I was out in Boston, I found some uh, boom sauce. Ooh. And uh, I just cracked boom sauce for the first time. So I'm hoping that this brings some good luck for uh, for the stream here. It, it's worked in the past for baseball teams. I'll say that much. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you not in the loop, that's one of my favorite beers ever. It's made in, in Massachusetts near Boston. Cool. All right. Well, have fun, guys. I'm going to switch back to uh, viewer mode. But thanks, and uh, go Bears. 
And and speaking of your mode, uh, Beaver, bears. Uh, Beaver, unless you have any last shots, do you, can we get into this? I'm asking your permission here since you're in charge. Uh, I give you permission to do whatever you want, Danny. Perfect. That's 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 Anything the keys to the castle I was looking for. Go into the editor and change your player's attributes. <laughs> like it's all good. This is a chaos stream. Have cat, Come have what cat. may. Perfect. Don't do it. Beautiful. Come what may. Wow, we have two members of the Hepcats in the booth, me and Enoch. <laughs> we had two members of the Bears when Japs was here. <laughs> what we really have is four I, members I, of the I, I fully remember all yes. the people that Hummus were part of the Hepcat family, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all those seasons. Yeah, all those seasons, me uh, playing for the Hepcats, yeah. Yep. And you I, know, it is true, though. All four of us did play for the Swifties. Yes, indeed. That, that is true. There are four Swifties alums in this right now. All right, Poe's here. I'm out. Have a good night, uh, y'all. I'll, I'll <laughs> out too. Welcome, Poe. I, I don't have a, a thing for you either. Wow. So unprepared. I know. I don't I don't think I've ever joined a stream before. This is this this is Poe's debut. This stream is the though, stream of first. Even though we have tested him for 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 streaming and co-hosting, and 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 I, I so he just never ever had a chance. <laughs> it's true. Histor historic nine, only forty one of us are here to witness it. Wow. Well, now it's fifty three. Oh, wow. Yeah. And actually, twenty of those are my multis. So are you going to do another hey, add everyone? You got twenty multis. Add multis add I, said, I have. He did. Multis. He did. Oh, apparently. Shit. Yeah, this is this is basically just us. No, he oh, did that. Just me and you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, All right, let's go. I I think we're about ready, honestly. Uh, Condor yeah, second stream. Yes, for. Condor, watch more streams, please. We need more. Did you chaos. make sure you do tiny players? You gotta gotta make sure that's set. Where you go. It is big balls, big players. For some reason, it's just it's it's just freaking out whenever I click here. Um, so we'll just have to leave oh, that wow. how it is. Wow. I'm not not sure what's going on there. Rigged. BNN's off, right? BNN, BNN is maximize, off. Maximize, minimize screen, screen thing. <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. Have you tried turning it off and back on? Let me, Get yeah, on. let's just go ahead and start and shut down. Okay. Uh -huh. I felt compelled to join because I consider myself a Rana. We needed some Rana representation in here. That is true. Kind of rude, but okay. Because I'm pulling for the bears, personally. Appreciate you. You you are grandfather bear if, if we're being honest right. here. Right, right. That's so true. Like, you, yeah. We do need some representation on the other sides because, as everyone knows, it's fair and balanced. It's a PB stream. I no need bias. my girlfriend to get the save <laughs> in game one oh eight, game one oh nine. That'd be epic. Or. Or. Something else. Or something else. Well, I think you're my official co-host here, Hummus. How do you want to do this? Could you? I'll, I'll take the Bears' offense. You take the Rana's offense. How's that sound? Let's do it. I, I think without further ado, we're just gonna we're just gonna get this thing rolling. Game one oh nine, one of two. Game one oh nine. Exactly, and then game one oh ten to follow. So with three games coming one up. Oh, one oh ten. <laughs> one oh ten. One thousand and ten. It's happening. All right, nine hundred more games. Let's go. Like we're doing it. It's happening live. You're here for PBE history. We, we, we did check the starters. Okay. Nope. 72 hour stream. I didn't think we were changing anything. I thought we were just going. I did save right oh, before, yeah, so no, we, we can abort, person, but... So, so. We, need a, we need a bet for the ninth inning or something, uh, Shane. As Stigowski sends a drive deep to center field, that is caught. I'm going to the scoreboard. pause it real oh. quick to... Can I, can I grab just the scoreboard? Here we go. I gotta adjust my game sounds here because they're kind of blowing everything else out of the water. So uh, I apologize. Normally I do all this fun stuff ahead of time, but uh, I very much was not expecting to stream tonight. Wow. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. <laughs> I have heard that. Before. <laughs> was that Gandhi that said that? <laughs> um, all right. Oops. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin, that's right. You're right. All right, and we'll get back to it now. Cody Cochin, potential MVP candidate, batting from the right side here. It's a drive to left, so two flyouts for the Bears so far in this one. Here comes Whiskey Cody Fuse. Cochin, defending MVP, right? Yes, defending MVP and potential back-to-back -back MVP. 
grind out from fuse. I have no idea. You you might know. <laughs> You'd have Zero. a better shot than me. Zero. That makes sense. We got Bolton in the batter's box for your Puerto Rico Ramos. Wearing that nice neon green. There's a, a fly out in left. Ferguson batting 261. Will line out to third. Kaoru will fly it up deep in center, but will fly out and they go down in order. Inning one of the first game, 109 is in the books. We'll go to inning two. It's never in doubt. Six up, six down. Pitcher stool through one. Robbie Jackinson going to send it up the middle, but up the middle. Way, way up in the sky, caught by the shortstop. Travis Granholm, the lefty, puts one on the ground to the first baseman. So first baseman grounding out to another first baseman. And the half inning is up to Wall, grounding to short. It's a six up, six down for the Bears. Nine up, nine down in the game. Dalia hitting cleanup. We'll ground it to third, and we'll ground out. Too slow. Nice throw from Mustard. Sov now. Sov will get the first hit of the ball game. Breaking up the perfect game and no hitter thrown by right in the dirt. It's a double. Standing double for Sov. Forbes Jr. will ground out, but Sov advances to third. 90 feet from home plate for the first run. And this is going to be the first run. It's an RBI from Rabbit. And the Ranas take a one to nothing lead here at home. Got, got them right where we want them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Rabbit will steal second to add to that. Hayes, though, will fly out to end the second. A little tease. A little tease. <laughs> got to add now. drama to the game. Got some work to do down to run. We'll go to the top of the third. Can't come back late if we don't uh, give it up early. So we're just we're just preparing to, to make the storylines even crazier today. Hey, he's gonna try and beat it out. He will not. That's true. You always gotta give it up early. That's right. Lure him into that false sense of security. Mustard gonna go on the ground as well. It's been hitting hot lately. And a strikeout for Scorch. So the first time through the order, the Bears got nothing. No walks, no hits, no reaching on errors. Nine up, nine down. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than here in game 109. There's a strikeout for Hooper for out number one here in the bottom of the third. Bolton with a fly ball and shallow left. That'd be out number two. Ferguson, 0 for 1 on the day. Make it 0 for 2 right in the dirt. Taking care of business will go top of the fourth. Bears struggling on offense. All right, fellas. I'm heading out. It was fun. Appreciate right, you joining you. us, Beaver. Okay. We'll make sure to get you on the payout. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need it. Yeah, yeah. As uh, Stagowski strikes out, Cochin strikes out. So Atwater here making a bid to strike out the side in order. Fuse is going to put it in play, though, and there goes your no-hitter. Man on first with two outs. Let's see if Jackinson can make some two-out magic from the right side of the plate. Back up the middle. Center fielder goes back on it. He's got it under it. Makes the grab. Side retired. Bottom four. And that's a base hit right past the shortstop for Kaoru, who's hot lately. So Dalia with a runner on. That's in the Giga Gap on left center. Their runner's moving to third. Will they go home? They will not. What a nice double by Dalia. No outs reported yet. Um, that was a 2-0 count that he took to the left center wall. And that's past the shortstop. One run will score. And it's a 2 to nothing ball game. No outs reported yet. It's an RBI by Saw. Grounder. Oh, and the third baseman bobbled it, and no throw was made. So the round is tapped on another run. It's three to nothing. That was Forbes Jr. A strikeout for Rabbit. Finally, the Bears report an out here in game 109. And there is oh, a stolen Got him. thrown out. What a throw from Hayes. And a pitch out. Got and him! Another throw. <laughs> another gun out. Back to back gun outs to end the fourth. Wow. So they run a score two, but. Aaron base running uh, will go to the top of the fifth. Well, Hayes is defensively trying to name himself the player of the game. If the Bears can secure this, he's going to come up third in the inning after the Grand Home flyout and the Wall flyout. Here he is, had the two back-to-back -back gunouts to end the inning, and he's just going to take a walk here, four-pitch walk. Maybe put some fear in Atwater. Here comes Mustard. He's going to tap one in the air into foul territory. The catcher making a, a grab there in foul ground. Chat is very alive. First time chat or one day lucky said fire those base coaches. <laughs> uh, 
Houston Hayes with a fly ball in center, caught for out number one. Hooper. A Hooper, but plays baseball, but that is going to be caught. Let's go, Walt. Getting left. Walt stretching out for that one. Bolton ground out. Bears defense stepping up, uh, but their offense needs to do the same. We'll go top of the sixth. Well, Scorch has the highest average on the team. We'll see if he can get one in play here for a hit or take a walk. That'll work just as well. Stigowski now due up. He's got 13 home runs on the year. Not going to go deep on this one, but he will send it pretty far back there. Fly out to center right. Here comes Cody Cochin up the middle. Not quick enough to get the double play, but they do get the out. Runner in scoring position for Fuse. In 331 with 17 home runs. That's through the infield. We'll see if they make the turn. They don't. Corners, two outs for action. Jackinson. Here comes the right-hander. That's in the sky to right field. The right field is back on it. He's all the way back in it. Out of the park. We've got a tie game here. 3-3 three, three off Robbie Jackinson's 10th home run of the year. He scores Fuse. He scores Scorch. 352 feet. Just wrapped it around that right field foul pole to get us a new ball game here in the sixth. And Granholm. It's appropriate for all these games to go to extra innings. Oh, oh absolutely. Uh, as Granholm takes the walk, Wall now the cold hitter going to put runners on first and third with a single. And the two-out rally continues. Here's Hayes on the ground to the second baseman. They record the out there. Uh, but the damage is done. It's a tie game as, as we send it back to Hummus. And apparently we traded for overdue. It's a little, little bearish inside joke. Maybe we lost Hummus as there's two quick outs. He's muted. Oh, R.I.P. Hummus. I'll, I'll pick up his slack. It's fine. Commissioner, you know, never, never, never doing the responsible thing. Always shirking those duties. That's true. But, but maybe I don't want him to cast us. That was, I think, one of the cleanest innings the Bears have put together with a quick one, two, three. Bottom of the sixth. Mustard with the ground out to first base. Scorch now, Bears keeping it on the ground. Uh, shortstop plays that one. And the innings up to Stigowski. Who takes a four-pitch walk. Atwater is still in the game. Uh, looks like that was pitch 88. And on pitch 88, uh, slider at 73 miles an hour. He gets out of it in center field. Uh, e Enoch, you want to you wanna call the Ranas here? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, Sov, Forbes, and Rabbit coming up. And Sov leads off with a single. Up next is Mike Forbes Jr., who will hit a little tapper back to the catcher, and he will throw out Sov at second, and off goes Forbes, who steals second. Rabbit hits this one into right, and it will be caught by the right fielder. <coughs> Hayes. Internet up. bugged out and back. And he will ground out to the third baseman, so they got something going, but um, wasn't able to capitalize on it. Now we to the top of the eighth, still tied at three. All right, well, welcome back, Hummus. Here comes Fuse, Jack and Sim, and yours truly, Travis Granholm. Uh, we'll start off with the Fuse infield ground out to the third baseman. Good play there, strong arm. Jackinson now the lefty, tries to check his swing up, but cannot do it on the 92-mile-an-hour slider. Uh, now Travis Granholm, he's going to strike on that slider as well. So the slider obviously working for Joey Vado here. Good job, Gold. For Gold himself, the, the sleeping eight, man, I hope. The Hooper who plays baseball. It's going to be a single and right. First hit of the game for Gilbert Hooper. Bolton, who's here with us in chat. Rips one also hits a single. First hit of the game as well. Runner moves to third. Leading run 90 feet from home. And that's going to drop in right. That's going to be a 4-3 to three ball game. The other runner also moves to third. What an RBI from Thomas Ferguson of the Ranas. Grounder, third baseman, bobbles it. It was hit too hard. And now the Ranas lead 5-3. to three. Heoru, clutch hitting by the Ranas. No outs recorded. This is deep. Uh-oh. And that's gone. Dalia. A three-run blast. <laughs> I do, I do. Eruption. Wow. Puerto Rico is trying to punch their ticket in the season 33 playoffs and may have just done that. Saw with no outs yet recorded in the bottom of the eighth yet. And that's going to be the first one. That's a line out from Saw. Forbes Jr. with a strikeout for out number two and Rabbit. 
Can Budweiser sit down three batters in a row? And they will. Top of the ninth. Here you go, Danny, your team. With their backs <laughs> against the wall with a chance to get an, uh, their ticket punch. they got to score five at least. They do indeed, and they'll start it off with a green wall cold hitter. He's going to ground out to the shortstop. Hayes and Mustard, the other two. Hayes now from the left side of the plate, up the middle for a single. Uh, now they just need a blast and, like, four more blasts after that. Here comes Mustard. That one's into left field. Should be playable. And down to their final out are the Bears. It's going to be Barclay Scorch. He's going to pop this one on the infield. First baseman calls them all off, and the Ranas will be headed to the postseason. Bears headed to game wow. 110. What a game. What a season so far. It's not even over. We still <laughs> no, got another it's not. game 109, and then we got a game 110. The first game 109 definitely delivered. The Ranas erupted in the bottom of the eighth. What a game. Yeah, both four hole hitters in this one having there. three RBIs. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to go through the box score. Uh, good starts, honestly, from both starters going in the ballpark of seven innings, giving up just three. Alvaro Chapman, though, only able to get one out, giving up five earned runs. The difference in this one. Uh, Gold, a a after he departs the stream, has a good outing for himself. Two innings, no earned, just one hit. And Alfred Delia is your player of the game. Four-hole hitter for the Ranas. Two for four, two runs, three RBIs. Yeah, I was going to say, obviously it was a, a mess getting to this, but uh, it is kind of fun with the ABCD, like <laughs> seeing there the Bears. The Bears could have chose to be the home team in yep. this first game. They decided they wanted to play the Ranas. Um, didn't work out, but they do get to be the home team in, in game 110. So the, uh, the pros and cons of all the different designations are kind of fun to think through. Yeah, so the Bears ran some super quick tests to let you behind the curtain here, and, and we performed way better against the Ranas than any other team, so we figured we'd take a shot uh, on, on enemy territory. D didn't pan out, but, you know, that's baseball. But you still have a home game, so. Yeah, not, not out of it yet. Does not mean, you know, losing this game does not mean that was not the correct decision. Absolutely. And next on the I, agenda, I, I, ooh, go ahead. Yeah, I got a bet live, predictions live. Perfect. Bianca's home. Hello, honey. Um, we got uh, Lemurs Hepcats is the prediction. The second game, 109, I figured a, a pick em here would be fitting. Um, as it is two teams out of the four teams tied for the last <laughs> spot uh, for the playoffs. Um, get your money, folks. Y'all been farming channel points for hours now. You, you can uh, get a leg up, try to get closer to your 10,000 channel point submission. Wow, what a night. It's good that I'm here for this game as well, because not only am I a Rana, I'm also a Lemur. Yeah, you are. With the, that was your yeah. <laughs> that was your my second one, one and done, my one and done yeah. miner's career as a Lemur. Yep, I remember. I'm a, I creep on you, bro. But yeah. It, it is interesting that I was venting to Enoch the past few seasons that we haven't had a good playoff races stream in a while. <laughs> it, it led to us having a, literally a historic night. Like I like to say everything's historic, but like this is absolutely historic, and we've never had a game one ten. No, and, and you, you were a Dynamo, right, Poe? You weren't actually a, a Rana. Yeah, I was a Dynamo. Yeah, but same, same was, franchise. That was back season, that's, that's season what I thought. 14, 15. I was just trying to figure out the timeline in my head here. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, I was a rookie of the year for the Dynamos in oh, wow. season 14. So, way before my time. Congratulations. <laughs> $1.3 million do PBE dollars wagered so far on the Lemurs over the Hepcats. Bianca goes, ew. <laughs> <laughs> And with yeah, that, I'm, go ahead. Not so subtly rooting for the Hepcats in this one. Well, then I'll tell you what. Why don't you take the Hepcats offense? I'll do the Lemurs. Let's do it. If Ermagerd's pitching, um, we'll flip. I hope you do a good job covering or, that. Or, or I'll do a good job. I'll I'll extra hype it. <laughs> put that. Put the old Irish on it. That's a, this is going to be awesome. Yes, Brady, do up first here. As OTP goes through your stats. Wind blowing from right at 11 miles an hour. Important stuff to know. Uh, as Brady's going to send one up the middle, caught by the center fielder. 
Here comes Finkman, the catcher. He's a right-hander on the ground to second. Tried to go the other way there, but not able to get it in the air. And Kuma will strike out. So much like our last game started, it's a 1-2-3 inning. You got Lane, Skelton, and Braun for KC coming up to bat. If you've been with us all night, shout out to you. You're the real MVP. Lane with a ground out for out number one. Lewis Randall, that's the Trenny, <sighs> compendium team mem member on the mound for the Lemurs, gets a strikeout on Skelton. And Braun gets under this one. Right fielder jogs out and makes the grab. That will end the first. Another one, two, three inning will go to the top of the second. That one sounded good off the bat. Here's Humdinger, the DH, batting from the left side here. It's a 1-1 one, one count. Slider is served up the middle past the shortstop for a single. First base hit of the ball game. Now here is Ozymandias Albies, a eight pitch at bat. He strikes out swinging on the circle change. And then Aodeli is going to sky one into right field. Not quite to the warning track, but some good pop there. Uh, let's look to fine-tune his swing versus starter next time up, maybe. And Hartman Jr. also going to fly out to the shortstop going back into shallow left to retire the side. Long pipe, Beckendam, and Mills. Long pipe uh, swings at 0-1 and flies out to left. Beckendam will go deep again, uh, just like the last batter, but also a fly out. Mills... Oh, we'll put it past the shortstop, and that's the first Hepcast hit of the game. That means that Lewis Randall no longer has a perfect game or no hitter. And there is a single from Confer. So runner on third and first for Bryant, but will round out, and that will end the second. So left two stranded, and we'll go top of the third. Lemurs will bring up the eight, nine, and one hitters. Good range from Albies to make that play as it's Mustang, your do up the center fielder. He's going to put this one into center left. Should be good for extra bases. Stand up double there for Mustang. He got on his Mustang there to motor around the bases. Now here's Greasy Frank. Uh, too much grease on that one for him to handle as he strikes out on the 2 2 circle change. Now it's up to Jackie Brady who's going to check his swing and. Oh no, catcher's interference. We have catcher's interference catcher's called. Inter in front of what looks to be an extra base hit could be a two RBI double. Uh, it, it is a two RBI double from Finkman following the catcher's interference. Brady must have hit the catcher's mitt on the four swing. Uh, and it burns him pretty much right away. Can this stream get any more chaotic? <laughs> it, it can. Be careful what you wish for. As uh, Now we have two outs and it's Humdinger into center right and is caught by the center fielder. Hepcats will bring up Millhouse. Check the swing, but offered. That's strike three. Randall, second K of the game. Lane. And will line out the center field. So Skelton with two out. Full count. We'll look at strike three. That was right down in the zone. We'll go top of the fourth. Lemurs in control. Albies, Ayadeli, Hartman, your do ups. We'll start with Albies from the left side. I'm going to have to guess he's a switch hitter, like the player he's named after. Uh, as he hits a single into left field, a butt attempt called strike, uh, but then he swings the bat away, and it seems like he should have swung it away from the get-go as he's in with a single now. Hartman Jr. strikes out, swinging at a curveball on the 1-2 pitch, and with one out, runners on first and second Mustang now. Will they turn the double play? They will. An old 6-4-3 retires the side. Bottom four we go. Braun, the hot hitter, slaps one, beats the throw, uses that speed for the infield single. Long pipe will ground out, but moves Braun to scoring position. Beckendam will walk, so two on. Leading run at the plate for Mills. Will ground it to a double play to end the inning. Great work by the Lemurs infield. will go top of the fifth. Both teams flashing the leather there. Double plays to get out of both innings. Here comes a cold hitting shortstop Frank. He's going to watch a circle change in at 67, or maybe it's a circle curve at 67 miles an hour. Uh, Brady retired on the ground out. And with two outs, here's Finkman. He's going to swing through that one. And the side is retired. We'll go bottom fifth now. Confer lines out directly to the left fielder, Bryant. 
Making contact all night, just not great contact. That's a ground out from Bryant. Millhouse. Millhouse with a shallow pop to the left, and that will end the fifth. They go down in order. We're going to go to the top of the sixth. Lemurs still up two to nothing. Yes, indeed. Halfway through the ball game, here comes Kuma. On the ground to first, handles it himself. Three unassisted. Humdinger the DH. Lefty lefty matchup hits it right back to the pitcher who feels this position well. Innings up to Albies. Uh, and that is going to be a single. A little blooper there fell just in front of the right fielder. Now we'll have the stolen base attempt. The throw is late. Good throw, but uh, not quite able to get him, and they'll opt to walk Adeli on the full count there, leaving the inning up to Hartman Jr., the right fielder. He checks his swing, but they call it a strike. Uh, at the bottom of the zone there, down and in, they got him. What are you doing? The lights are shining bright in game 109 in front of your home crowd. That's going to be a beautiful grab in center field by Mustang for out number one. Wow. 3-0 count and a check swing but a walk for Skelton. So tie run at the plate for Braun, who grounds into a 5-4 but not the 3. That could be crucial. Pitching change here. McKenzie checks in for the Lemurs. And this is going to be a pop out. Shortstop goes out to the left field gra grass to make the grab. We'll go top of the seventh. Lemurs, just a few innings away from advancing to the playoffs. Well, it's definitely not Kevin Show in the game as we are officially on Ermagod uh, lookout. Mustang going to strike out here, looking at one. An inside pitch there he didn't go for, but the ump did. Frank now with the grounder, and it could be a quick 1-2-3 inning for definitely not Kevin Choate. And it is a soft liner handled by the third baseman. Retires the side in order. Pico Bear with a beautiful outing. needs They need their offense to step up for them right now. Give some support. A high fly ball in center field for Beacon Dam. That's going to be out number one. Mills with a walk. So again, the Hepcats have the tying run at the plate. Confer drops a single in left field. We got action, folks. Bryant, the two on. That's past the shortstop. Will the run come across? It will not. Base is juiced for Millhouse. And that's going to be a single. And the first run for the Hepcats comes across. It's two to one. Station Juice to station. The main base. Lane with a walk. They walk in the tying run. The Hepcats have tied it up here in game 109. Pitching change. Caesar Azuahe. Skelton will ground to short. Ooh. They get out at home. Beautiful decision to move the infield in. Braun now. A strikeout. So ice in the veins. Oh, extra Caesar innings. Azuahe. But the Hepcats tie it up. Finally, their offense wakes up. We'll go top of the eighth. Bears are watching this salivate and hoping for the extra innings to, to burden the bullpen of whichever team ends up losing. But Finkman now is going to get to second on an error. They give the second baseman the throwing error on that one, and they might pay for this. No, that's going to stay in the yard, but should be enough to advance the runner. Yep. All the way to the warning track goes the right fielder. That's Millhouse. Uh, now with one out, should be easy to get the run home, but they won't do it on that swing. Wow. Good play Huge. by the second baseman. And here's Albies, two outs, and he strikes out. You gotta take the bat off your shoulder on that one. Yep. Can't be looking at strike three this late in the game. Hepcats <coughs> need to capitalize though. Long pipe, Beckendam, and Mills. Long pipe will ground out. Caesar, last inning, uh, checked in and, and did some great work for the Lemurs. This is deep <gasps> for Beckendam, and it's gone. The Hepcats take a three to two lead, scoring three straight runs in this game to give themselves the lead. That was a solo shot that went 407 feet. Beckendam hits double digits and home runs on the season. Mills with one out and a lead. A fly out for out number two. Confer. What was that? Okay. I have no idea. It was something. Something happened, but there's a ground out to end the eighth, and the Hepcats have stormed all the way back, and they take the lead. Here in the eighth, what a game so far. Here we go, last chance for the Lemurs. Lemurs who led most of this game, now down to their final three outs. Ayadeli with the fly out. Bottom of the lineup, maybe not who you're hoping for. Here's a pinch hitter of magic. He's hitting too late on the season. 
But that's the only hit that's going to matter to him for this season if his team can rally behind him. Mustang now the potential go-ahead run. He starts the steal, he stops the steal, but on the pass ball he makes it. Now the runner's in scoring position for Mustang who flies out on the infield. It's going to take a single from Frank now. Pinch hitter Anderson. The pinch hitter worked out last time. Will it work out this Go. time? No. The final out of the game is recorded. The Hepcats are headed to the postseason. Woo. And your final matchup, your game 110, the first one ever, is going to be a battle of the expansion teams. The Lemurs and the Bears, the most recent expansion teams in the minors. And they're going to be dueling it out for a winner-take-all game 110. Wow. Wow. All right, now comes the fun part. Now comes the fun part. I want to congratulate Lewis Randall on his player of the game. We're going to do a file save before we touch anything else. And now uh, I'm just going to do what Enoch tells me to from here on out. Okay, say, say your so magic words. We need to get... Um, well, we need to advance the day, so, so regardless. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into the settings... Blank it out, and then, well, oh, I guess that works too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Delete the leak. First. No. Nope. First, let's go to go. go no, no. Knows the password go, go is to, from the stinks. You know, you know um, that was the password at one point, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go go down to the miner. Uh, go down to the miners. Oops. Well, actually, let's check the schedule first. Because the, the major st on. starts today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go down to the minors first. So change it to the minors. Okay. And then let's just go to the schedule just to see what, what is there. Uh... Let's go to... No, no, just go back up to, to minors oh. and then go to scores. No games today. Tomorrow the... Yeah, okay. So, so it, it Playoffs start. start. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is go... So go back to the settings. We got to go into uh, options. Go down, edit playoff matchups. And you're going to reset league to regular season mode. Hit OK. All right. Uh, so second, we're going to go into... Uh, where the hell do we go? <laughs> I'm a little tired. Um, well, the major playoffs are, oh, are, actually, no, no, no. are today. Yeah, major, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, go back down to the minors and go back into the settings. So go to go back to options. You got to go to edit league schedule top. Go back up. Go back up. And and you got to go to today. Click on go to today on the top. All right. So there should be nothing there and correct you're going to schedule the make sure it's regular season so it's like game type it's regular season and you're going to select uh i think uh lemurs at bears i think right i think that's what's been said okay and then schedule game series on the bottom all right so what we're going to do is to be safe so, so you're gonna you see select league on the top, top. Uh, yes. Select league. Yeah. All right. We are going to delete all four of these games to be safe. Okay. All right. All right. So let's save this sucker. Sucker is saved. So now we can roll with so there should be no should be no games in the ma majors so you go back to and then so there's only one game he's a game two so we so so i need to take a look at everything later i i might need to push the entire majors playoffs back if it's not done correctly or um but i have to see later because i have no idea what it's going to do sure sure so now we play out lemurs at Bruce city Jabs, I only told him to delete Booze Goozer. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Wow. The major you, you should have been reset to regular season. No, it, it wouldn't because it's done by league, Seawork. So we can do that, but there's there's kind of no point to because if if the regular if, if we can start the oh. It doesn't need to, so so it's fine. Yeah. I I can do it. Later. You can add the I game back in. Yep, yep. I could add the game back in. I could do whatever. I I I I, I could reset the uh, majors playoff to to back the regular season and, and just start it a day later. So, anyways, so so we'll see. That's true. You could reset back to regular season, like like we literally just did for the minors, and it yeah, worked yeah, out we're well. Do the it exact same thing. It didn't bug the file or anything. No, as long as those games are not played. That, that's really what it is. Um, I have to double check, but but whatever, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not that important. We could reschedule that one, one game. So once we play this out, do not advance a day. Keep it on this and then just export out. And then I'll use the offline file to figure out what the heck is happening. Can we remove my nickname from my player after this game? I thought we did that. Did we? Every time I check the index, it's still there. I know uh, Dirk did a, a meme and, and uh, changed it. This is going to take priority over everything. The, do you want Austin Bentley's or you want, uh, sorry, you want? Yeah. Ben Hummin. How do you spell Benjamin? Ben, yeah, you got it. Yeah, it was right. that was from a charity from a while ago. Hit enter. I did. Yeah. I was going to say check Voyager stamina, but we're good. <laughs> we're not in playoffs yet, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, wait, wait, wait a few days, and then we'll add it. we got to file save that. That was a very important change we made. Yeah. Ooh, deep breaths. I think we're just about ready here. That was a charity. Yeah, that was a charity nickname. Yeah, no, this tonight's been epic. I mean... I was putting my son to sleep, rocking him to sleep, and like trying to keep up with the stream. You know, I'm pretty invested because Irma Gerd's on the Hepcats. We've been doing podcasting all season together, um, talking about the season, and started up. The Hepcats started the season off very strong, and had to play game 109 to get in. I mean, that just shows you how awesome the miners are. The parody, like the ups and downs. You know, it's beautiful. So. Yeah, they, they have a tendency for this kind of chaos. I mean, e even in the best best seasons where there's no 109, quote-unquote best, some might call that the worst, but when there's no 109, uh, you know, it, it's still usually in that last sim, there's usually a couple of minor league teams we're keeping our eye on for seeding or, or for playoff standing or, or what have you. Usually, but the last few have been really disappointing. <laughs> oh, over here, sorry. Well, chaos is back, and chaos is back with a vengeance. Yeah. You know tonight's been epic when we had Poe and Beaver make their first ever regular season. Because I know Beaver's done draft streams, but I don't think he's ever done like an actual stream where we had games on it. No, and we had a stream passed up, not due to technical difficulties, just because that that's how crazy the stream was. We just we had to pass the baton. Yeah, it was, he was three plus hours in. I mean, yeah. He, we have only was, had one time. In a, re in, in a regular scene where we pass the baton to someone else. It was, and that was for due to technical difficulty. It was a uh, Super Tardis stream? I think so. And do you oh, remember? That was actually a World Series stream. Do you remember who picked it up? It was. LB LBG stepped in for that one. Say so LBG, of course, is the one here. <laughs> right. Exactly. Well, who else would it be that saved our butts? Danny B. What? <laughs> no. It, it's cool. Like, that's just, you know, the culture of this league, the community is. There's yeah, always we, a goat we, on standby. Yeah, there's always someone on call, but not even like scheduled to be on call, just like there. And he's with us in the chat, of course. I I guess his name's been popping up and on, but we we always yeah, I know he's talked about the Ranas for sure. Throw him some love. I think he so. came in the chat pretty late <laughs> just recently. Yeah, he's here for the chaos, though. We love that. And Do I we have a bet? Who's doing it? I haven't seen one. Yeah, no, I don't see one either. I got it. Who will win the first ever game 110?
We'll do it for one minute. Hurry up, folks. <laughs> Get it in quick. Drop your money. Scared money don't make money. That's right. This is it. Last prediction you'll be able to put in for the regular season. Playoffs do start Tuesday. With your host, go. Danny B. Do you have a co-host? I don't. Are you volunteering? Live on stream right now? <laughs> Let me... <laughs> I'll let you get you back to me. Do? Probably usually do like 6.30, right? Yeah, 6, 6.37, somewhere in there. I should be good to go. Let me uh, confirm with my calendar. Have your people call my people. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. My, my, my camp will call yours. They'll, uh, they'll work it out. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been fun, folks. And I think your prediction just ticked down. Yep. So I'll let you you lead us off here. Let's get into it. Lemurs, Joseph Brady, Iodele, and Kuma are your one, two, three batters. Lemurs are here on the road at the Bears. The Tap House is where this game will be played. The first ever game, 110. How fitting in a stadium involving alcohol. Brady will ground out. Get your chaos with some beer. That's a strikeout for out number two, Ayodele. And Kuma will get under it. Will fly out to right. And that will end the top of the first. They go down in order. We'll go bottom of the first. And it's going to be Whiskey Fuse leading things off. The right-hander taking on the right-handed pitcher. Looks like he's got a little bit of a sidearm action. And he retires the first batter he sees. The 1-0 delivered to Cody Cochin is also going to be hit to the shortstop for an out. And now it is up to Stagowski. Wow, that shortstop has been busy. I think he just made all three plays there uh, to retire the Bears in order. And top of the second we go on the 1-1. Oh, and it's an errant throw from Mustard of the Bears. But the runner parks at first as Humdinger, Finkman, will line out to right. Albus with the runner on first. Shortstop dives for it and throws to first and gets the out. Hartman Jr. with a runner in scoring position will put it over the center fielder's head. What a hit. A lot of force behind that one, and that will be an RBI double. The Lemurs jump out to a one to nothing lead. Oh, and this one's deep, opposite field. It's Frank, and it's gone. Quite frankly, that was hit hard. It's three to nothing now. Here in the top of the second, the Lemurs, they want to make the playoffs. And what a grab to end the top of the second. That was Cody coaching. Wow, what a half inning of. of chaos and fitting for a night of chaos we'll go bottom of the second yeah three unearned runs following the air are gonna burn uh wow. skippy jensen pretty hard there because of the rbi double and then the home run uh grand home reaches on i think that was a walk as jackinson strikes out he had that big play mustard gonna follow it up with a hit and now we have the tying run in the batter's box his name is l wood hayes the catcher the left-hander on the ground they're gonna try and turn two and they will turn two the uh, 4 6 3 variety to retire the Bears in the second. Top of the third, Lemurs will bring up their cold hitter, their only cold hitter, Joseph Brady, with a ground out. Aodele. Nobody on, one out, and that's going to be a single up the middle. One for two on the day, Aodele. Kuma is going to ground a third. He's going to beat the throw. It's a slow throw coming over from Mustard. Humdinger, the DH. We'll drop it in shallow right center, and it's juices based for Finkman. And this is deep, and it's gone. Salami late on a Saturday night. You call it Salami Saturday. It's seven to nothing. The Lemurs are doing their best work to make the playoffs after losing game 109, a chance of redemption here in game 110. Albez with a strikeout on a full count. 
Windu in as the relief pitcher for the Bears. That's a strikeout for Hartman Jr. And the Bears got a lot of work to do, but the Lemurs, the first Grand Slam ever in, <laughs> in, in <laughs> Game 110 history, will go down at the bottom of the third. Well, here comes Dickerson, Wall, and Fuse. It'll start off with a leadoff walk. Here comes Green Wall. He's the Bears' lone cold hitter, but he'll check in with a single there. First and second now for Whiskey Fuse who puts one into left field, should be playable. Kind of shallow. I'll be surprised if they tag and they don't. Cody Cochin now with a runner in scoring position. Skies this one to even shallower left, so it's going to take a single from Stagowski now, the 336 hitter from the left side of the plate. It's going to sky this one, and the third baseman has it right on the bag to retire the side. Uh, Williams able to work himself out of the jam. Game 110's been all lemurs. Frank... Two for two now on the day with a single and a home run, a double and a triple away from the cycle. Mustang with a walk. So this could get uglier for the Bears. Brady, infield pop up and a pop out for out number one. Iodele with two on, one out. Oh, and that's past the catcher. That's a, what do they call it, a wild pitch? Iodele will walk off a full count. That's got to hurt. Windu, that's a strikeout though for Kuma. Can Windu get out of this jam? Humdinger, one for two. With a grounder to short, they get the out at second and they leave the bases loaded. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth with the Bears, only two hits so far. You're definitely gonna need to add more to that total if they wanna have a chance here. Travis Granholm checking in with a single. A pull single there up the right field side. Here comes Jackinson, but first we'll have Granholm advancing on the wild pitch. Jackinson now with the RBI opportunity, puts it up the middle. We'll see if Granholm decides to run on the center fielder. With no outs, he stays camped at third base. Corners with no outs. Here's Mustard, mm, short of deep to right field. We'll see if he goes, and he's in there safely with the uh, RBI sack fly there for Mustard. Hayes now one out, runner on first. Liner right to the second baseman, who's got good hands, and it's up to Dickerson in this inning. That should find some grass. It does. First and second for the cold-hitting wall, though he did check in with a single already in this one. But that one's back to the pitcher who fields his position well. Bears retired. They do score a run, though. Top of the fifth, Finkman, uh, whose home run ball still hasn't landed from that grand slam. That's a, a ground out, though, for out number one. Albez. Will they beat the throw? They will. And that's going to be an infield single for Albez. Albez on the move safe needed a perfect throw wasn't there hartman jr it's in the gap and that's gone nine to one is your lead for the lemurs that was a two-run shot from noah hartman jr 403 feet of power and the lemurs are almost there they just need to hold on to this lead to get in that's a strikeout for frank two out nobody on for mustang Excuse me, two out, nobody on. That's going to be a line out, though. To end the top of the fifth, a two-run blast gives the Lemurs a 9-1 to lead. We'll go bottom of the fifth. It's the top of the lineup with Whiskey Fuse. He's going to take a walk, a full count walk here on pitch number seven. Cody Cochin. That's going to be a double play. Not seeing too many of those from the potential MVP candidate, but he hits into one here. And now it's Kyle Stogowski on the ground to the second baseman. So despite the uh, leadoff walk, it is a 1-2-3 inning. Bears need a miracle. Meanwhile, Lemurs have been dominant and efficient. Nine hits, nine runs. That's a strikeout from Brady. Iodele, strikeout as well. Garrard slams. He's given up one earn so far. Kuma with a base hit on the left side. Will Humdinger do something with it? One for three on the day. Will strike out looking. That was a pitch low but in a way, but in the zone will go bottom of the sixth. Bears got to do something. Yes, they do. Here's Travis Crown. He's one for one in the game, and it is Goofball Jones into pitch. Maybe the Bears will have better luck against the bullpen as there's a leadoff single. <laughs> They've been getting the leadoff man on, but there's been a couple double plays that have made it pretty moot uh, as that one's lined to the right fielder from Jackinson. Here's Mustard one for one on the day. Up the middle, he should be two for two on the day. Granholm had to hold up on that one, make sure it wouldn't be caught. So it's first and second with Hayes, the batter, on the ground. Softly hit, too softly hit 
to turn two, but they get the out at first two in scoring position now for Richard Dickerson, and it's right back to the first baseman. Can he beat it out? He does! The legs there smelling okay. an RBI, and now it's up to Greenwall, the cold hitter. He skies this one into right uh, center field where it's handled. Bears uh, doing the slow trot to score runs. Meanwhile, the lemurs just keep putting on runs. Finkman with a walk. Albez with a strikeout. Hartman Jr. with three RBIs and a homer in this game so far. Gets another hit. That's the third hit of the day for Noah. And the lemurs are really killing it on offense. This is deep. Are you kidding me, Louisville? A three-run blast this time. It was Greasy Frank got a hold of that one, 416 feet, and the lemurs. It feels like they put the nail in the coffin on the Bears' season just a few innings away from advancing to the playoffs. That's a ground out for Mustang. Brady with a walk. First ever game 110 looks to be a bit lopsided so far. Iodele. Not, not enough drama here. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for it. Kuma, this is going to be a pop to center. And the Lemurs add three runs. A lot of home runs hit for the Lemurs so far. I think that's three total. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. And we're back to the top of the Bears lineup. Here's Whiskey Fuse with a leadoff walk. Cody Cochin in now, and that's going to be a left field base hit. First and second for Kyle Stagowski with no outs. That one's hit to right field. Should be handled. Too shallow to tag up on. And here's two for two Travis Granholm. Back up the middle. This should be handled. Two for two on the day, too, before that. Yep. And Jackinson. That one's deep, deep into left field. And that one's going to be out of here. It's a 415-foot blast. Took a okay. fastball right. Not even down the middle, actually. It wasn't a terrible pitch, but uh, sent yard to... Uh try and make this game a little more interesting still down seven but not out of it yet are the bears as mustard flies out to center right most of that pitch though was inside that middle square of the zone but yeah the bears finally come alive a bit maybe too late though what a weird animation <laughs> a pop out for humdinger for out number one finkman that will drop in right field beautiful piece of hitting all night, really, for all the lemurs batters. Albez, one for four. This is going to be near the warning track. One for five now. That's a fly out. Now, Hartman Jr., that's a single up the middle. Four for five on the day. Frank with a walk. My goodness. The bottom of the order for the lemurs are on fire. And that's going to be a ground out, leaving the bases loaded. Can the Bears use that to their advantage and get back in this game? We'll go bottom of the eighth. Six out to go, seven runs to get. Here comes Hayes. He'll strike out swinging on the slider. Pitching change is going to be Crot in the game against Richard Dickerson. And he's going to strike out looking on the seventh pitch of the at-bat. It was right down the middle, so I'm not sure what he was looking for. Greenwall, the cold hitter. Hits it to the first baseman. They flip it to the pitcher, and the Bears now down to their final three outs. Lemurs have three more to add on. Crot's confidence has to be through the roof. Comes in uh, and just shuts down the Bears. We'll go top of the ninth. Lemurs, la last chance to add some insurance. That's a ground out for Joseph Brady. Ayudele. This is going to be flied to right center. Caught for out number two. That was a full count. Kuma. Kuma grounds it. First baseman picks it up, steps on the bag, and here we go. Bears, you need an absolute miracle. Keeping up with Kuldra in chat, Lemurs have a 99.9% .9 of winning this game. And we'll see if Hughes can put a dent in that, as he should fall in there with a single. I think that's the fourth time he's let off an inning this game, uh, and he's reached more often than not. Here's Cody Coach, and that one should be handled by the shortstop. Two outs to go. It's Stagowski who will strike out swinging, and the season falls to Travis Granholm to keep alive two for three on the day. He puts that one up the middle past the shortstop, first and second for Robbie Jackinson, and it's Bodison in the game to relieve him. Gets the strikeout on the checked swing. 
Uh, saddest wow. way to, to end a season is is on a checked swing, and, and that kind of sums up that game for the Bears as the Lemurs will be advancing to the playoffs. Wow. Game 110 was an absolute offensive eruption from the Lemurs. Look at that graph. It all pretty much ended in that third inning. That second inning was huge as well for Louisville, but Bears tried a few times to come back. You see that graph kind of teetering a bit. You see a little, a few divots there uh, in that uh, sp- sixth inning, but in the seventh. But the Lemurs' offense really came alive. Uh, four for five for Hartman Jr., three RBI, five RBI for Frank. And a nice day for Granholm, three hits, but three RBI for Jackinson. Uh, Finkman with four of their own RBI, though, for Louisville. Uh, what a season for the Miners. Game 110, the first ever Game 110 in PBE history. Williams with the win, Jensen with the loss. Who got player of the game? Greasy oh, Frank. Frank. Three for four, two yeah. home runs, five RBI, two runs, and a walk. Frank, wow. I mean, that nail in the coffin home run was absolutely epic. And all three perf- top performers in that game were from the Lemurs. Kind of, like you said, sums it up for the Bears. Ran into some bad you know, baseball for themselves late in the season. And, you know, when the Miners that, that strong and that tight, it's probably not the best time of the season to play your worst baseball. Um, so our two, our three advanced teams are the Lemurs, the Hepcats, and the Ranas. Yes, indeed. I don't know if we can. I guess we sh- can. We pull it up from here. It looks like this is the accurate, uh, yeah, accurate uh, distribution of teams, right? It, it is. It is. But don't advance the day. Don't, I, don't do I, I will not. <laughs> So, I, I did a, no I did a file save, and I will do the export. I just thought people might like to take a peek. Are these the accurate matchups, too? It's 5-6. Yeah, it, it is It is right now. The seating is correct. Perfect. So it'll be Wheelers taking on the Lemurs and the Ronins taking on the Hepcats in that first round of the playoffs, the minor league wild card game, to kind of close the book on things today. And after what has been a, uh, what, four-and-a-half-hour stream? When did we start? The six? Yeah. <laughs> after what has been a four-and-a-half-hour stream, I think we can get our upload going, huh? You're getting a taste of this, y'all. Tuesday playoff stream is usually the longest stream of the year. I mean, this one may actually take the cake um, when it's all said and done for Season 33. But usually that first playoff stream, because there's just so much going on, so many changes that need to be made in between games, um... Yeah, it's probably going to be our longest stream. Um, That's why you got the heavy hitter, Danny B, hosting. You may see me as the co-host. I guess I got picked as his number one choice. (laughs) You got it. Back to back. It's not like I pressured him on stream or anything to do that? No, no, never. I mean, it it wouldn't be the first time we did a a Tuesday playoff sim one together, right? Right, it wouldn't be. My favorite, honestly, it's my favorite to do because, like I said earlier, I heard there was chaos. The chaos naturally summoned me into the stream. (laughs) And uh, that first playoff stream usually is extremely chaotic. We usually crack around 90 plus viewers. um, So it should be um, a lot of just, I love the pressure, right? Tensions are high for sure. Yeah, pressure's through the roof for the streamer. Um, and the co-host a bit because, you know, I got to do a little bit of helping, facilitating a bit. Obviously, I'm the one who has to make this, the playoff service, so I'll go ahead and do that. Probably starting tonight. Um, hopefully, folks just stay in that server and don't leave, please. Just just stay in the stream here. We'll, we'll be on Tuesday. You know, leave, leave the tab open. <laughs> Yeah, no, folks were making jokes because AU Gold's the only PBE user ever to run a 24-hour stream on this account. Uh, it was a charity stream. We raised, I think, a couple grand uh, for charity that stream uh, mm-hmm. for CODA for that one, which is the, the organ transplant for children charity. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, we're kind of picking up conversations on Season 35 charity. Um, 
be on the lookout, you know. I was about to say, next charity can't be that long away already. Seems yeah, like we're coming up. Yeah, crazy. so, yeah. We'll, we'll probably do it just us. We usually do a big conglomerate of all the big assembly corporations, but uh, we may branch out this time. So, we'll see. Um, yeah. yeah, who needs them? <laughs> you got it. it was cool. We built out sites to, you know, you can kind of put what league you rep. It was cool. So, we'll see. I know Person Man uh, has done a lot of work with that. Um, he's on vacation right now, so when he gets back, he'll probably be in his DMs planning for that. Yeah. Um, we got to start thinking of charities. Hopefully, people give us ideas. Game is my girlfriend playing. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I can kind of see over her shoulder. I'm trying to think. Why yeah. am I so creepy? I got to stop. I know. Uh, Sarah usually does the the mini games while the uploads go. And I guess like I'm trying to think what mini game that I've been playing that you could hop in and out of. I've been playing some some Griftlands, which is like a card game. But I think for the playoffs, you know, we're we're probably about halfway done with this upload, so we'll just let it let it sit. Uh, a good choice would be Kitten Cannon. I think it's on addictinggames.com. Mm, it's been like 10 years since I've been on that website. but. <laughs> All right. Well, gentlemen, good job uh, sorting through that nonsense. I'm going to run out of here. <laughs> Poe, you're a legend, man. Thanks I, for your we, sage we, we, advice. We, yeah, we rib on each other a lot, but you are an absolute god in this league. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm looking forward to seeing whoever rewrites these rules for next season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We I always wheel, get wheel, mad at you wheel. about your rules, but they're actually pretty good. I'll give you the credit there. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out to Poe. Have a good night. Thanks, Poe. That's Poe, y'all. If you don't know who that is, he was former head office member, uh, joined the league in season 14, uh, was the rule book guru for a while, actually sifted through the old rule book with the old commish. His name's Johnny times two. And them two together... Started picking apart what could be better, brought it to GMs, brought it to HO first, obviously, then GMs. And that's the rule book you see now is the the revamped rule book that Poe influenced. And uh, yeah, one of the legends this league has to offer. Yeah, absolutely. I remember my time in head office. If, if Poe came to a decision on anything, you had to really, really think about it if you were going to come out on the opposition because... <laughs> you, usually he was on the right side of things. Let's just put it that way. He's a smart guy uh, and, and knew what he was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Good guy. Um, great friend of mine. Um, like you are. You know, if you join head office, there's a strong chance we'll exchange social media. So two gentlemen that I have on Instagram. Absolutely. I'm trying to figure out. I don't, I don't even know how we check if the index got done here. Uh, I guess we could What's check. What's the date in the file? It's uh, September 17th. I 17th, guess check the date. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, 17th. I think it's, yeah. If, if that's 19, 18, 17. I said this is the rule book, and you had like the weird uh, coded page of the index. <laughs> and uh, so Cobra goes, wow, yeah, this is the rule book. Lots of HTMLs. That's it about right. It says the Bruce City Bears are playoff bound, but if I don't, I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> I'm sure you're not going to fix it if it... Did do that oh, for to, some reason. I need to pay all the predictions. My bad, y'all. In an index? That? Yeah, it says playoff bound. Bruce City Bears secure wild card. Although I guess we, we can oh, go here. Pro schedule. Probably because it, it was a storyline that it was already already. It already got yeah, 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 yeah. We we have nothing created. on our schedule, so I'm sure it. Yes, so we're good. We'll just pretend. So, I mean, we could just resim to make sure the Bears get in. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we have to now because of the storyline, right? The index said it. So yeah, I. I did not advance the day, like you said, Enoch. We we are still on this the seventeenth, where the Bears and the Lemurs clashed. The prediction has finally been paid out. Shout out to Cool Draw. Love the uh, live win probability. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's punching numbers into. Some kind of like he is a computer. <laughs> he literally is a walking computer. I wonder. Uh, I feel like OOTP twenty three must just like have that feature. I feel like because they, they they do that on the um, what is it the Apple TV games where they put like reach base probability and all those fancy statistics on there. Hmm. 
I, I, I need to check because I've done live games on 23 and I don't think they have it. Mm. All right, you should hit up the, the homie Marcus from Germany who <laughs> created the game. Yeah. He's still the head developer. Tell him to get on it. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? There you go. New, new product. Night. Cool. It's just going to go ahead and mod that in for the PBE. That'd be kind of lit. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, what a night. What a season for regular season. Still got a whole week of playoffs. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Remember, next Saturday, a week from today. Minor League stream is early. Major League World Series is late. Uh, we've been splitting that up. And don't forget, there is a raffle. I think, yeah, it's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's updated in the command. We were giving away six codes of Out of the Park 23 to celebrate the fact the game's only $20. So the league funds that has thousands in the account, we're only giving up $120 for this. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing who wins those six codes. Excellent. And I think for, for our parting shot here, just want to give a big thank, uh, big thank you and shout out to Gold, to Enoch, to Sarah, Beaver, Jabs, Hummus, and, and anyone else who popped in, Poe, uh, and anyone else who popped in while I wasn't looking for help on a sort through the chaos, keep the sim rolling, keep the chat entertained, and, and get through. It was a very, very exciting first ever game 110 for the PBE. Do we have a raid in us? I think we should raid AJ. He's let's, playing The Last of Us 2. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, he probably missed absolute. Uh, Neek just woke. <laughs> <laughs> you missed Oops. probably one of the most epic regular season streams of all time. Watch the VOD. Yeah. Watch the VOD. I'm going to make sure it gets on YouTube. I'm actually going to do that tonight. Enoch, remind me, but you have a lot going on, so maybe not. <laughs> We're going to raid AJ, though. <laughs> remind yourself. It's literally two seconds from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to raid AJ. Y'all got anything else? That's what I had. What about Enoch? Is, is I, he I guess besides nope. Tuesday, Kissing probably me? between 6 and 7 p.m., just just to give everyone a heads up for, for the yeah. stream time. Good call. Well, let's go have fun. Yep. Say hi to AJ. How about that? Absolutely. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs>